love. Gospel of John 13, 34, you are to love one another as I have loved you. From love himself, Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is the connection to love defined in the Bible. Love is patient and kind. It does not envy or boast. It's not arrogant or rude. It doesn't insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice with wrongdoing, but it rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, endures all things, and hopes all things. Love never ends. Each of us needs to check ourselves and to understand love from the vantage point that God wants us to understand love. Just think of how much your Creator loves you. If you wish to work the land, you're given free food. If you wish to cultivate the rain and the rivers, you're given free water. You're given everything plentiful all over the earth. The earth is abundant. Don't listen to people who say it's not. It's very abundant. God gives us all things. It's man who gets in the way and actually takes what God has given freely and cultivates it for his own profit. If we all loved each other, what would happen to this world? What would happen if we opened up our arms and we embraced each other without any prejudice, with love rather than hate, with love instead of fear? What would happen? Right now where everything looks chaotic, distraught, and out of control, what would happen if we just stopped and remembered who we are and we started to actually work on ourselves first, removed the plank in our own eye before we removed the speck of dust in our neighbors? What would occur? How would we change the planet? We should be checking ourselves in every second and every minute if we're not in accordance with this love law. Because if we're not, we're doing the opposite and we're in fear, pain, panic, and destruction. One day soon, we will all have to give testimony whether or not we were in line with this love law or not, and why we failed to take action when we could have done so.